Hi, happy Tuesday. Hi, I'm Sophia, and this is Kendall. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Thanks, guys. Now it's where we stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. I'm Namya. And I'm Jameson here for our daily video announcements. Plan to attend the soccer game tomorrow, that's October 4th against Winton Woods, right here at the Second Merchant Junior High. Boys play at 4.30 and girls play at 5.45 p.m. Our club has an informational meeting tomorrow in Miss Aaron's art room. Please arrange to be picked up at 4.15 and join the Google Classroom code if you have any interest. Four, that's 4WE3U3M. Email Miss Aaron if you have any questions. Try to attend Sycamore's last cross country meet next Monday after school. More details to come. Student council members, please ensure that you submitted your application, teacher recommendation, and student contract to Ms. DiOrio in room 1252. Student council's first meeting will be Thursday, October 5th from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. in Ms. DiOrio's classroom. Everyone needs to make arrangements for a ride home. Athletes of the Week! Now over to Mr. Stern. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here with Marley Brumfield. Marley is our Girls Golf Athlete of the Week, and your coach says, this week's Athlete of the Week is seventh grader Marley Brumfield. Marley is a steady and dependable golfer who leads by example. She has led her undefeated girls golf team to an outstanding 8-0 record. You probably knew that, right, that you guys were 8-0? Equally impressive is the fact that Marley has been a medalist, which means that she's had the lowest score in the match, in seven of our eight wins. Congratulations to Marley and the entire girls golf team for their amazing season, and they'll be kicking off their GMC tournament. Uh, that will be next week, so good luck at the tournament. Thank you. All right, Marley Brumfield. Clap, 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 clap. So Marley, this is your certificate and your write-up. And we have finally moved on to Chick-fil-A. So you have free Chick-fil-A at Kenwood Town Center. So congratulations. Thank you. Our second recipient of Athlete of the Week is seventh grader um, Alice Mota Cristani. She is a member of our cheer squad, and that's going quite well. I've seen them at uh, many of the football games. And your coach says... The Athlete of the Week for 7th grade football cheer is Alice Moda Cristani. Alice comes to every practice prepared and ready to work hard. She cares about her teammates and is encouraging to others. Alice is always willing to try something new and be flexible when it comes to changes in our routines. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. Yeah. She has a passion for cheerleading, great spirit, and is very dedicated. Alice is, Alice is a huge asset to our team, and we're very fortunate to have her on the squad. So, big round of applause for Alice. So, Alice, your certificate, your write-up, and free Chick-fil-A for you. Thank Congratulations. You. And our final athlete of the week is from the boys' golf team, and this is Declan Armstrong. And your coach has a lot to say. Yeah. So your coach says, Declan is an eighth grader who returned to the team this year. From a statistical perspective, he is one of the most improved this year, cutting his average score to par by three strokes over the course of the season, and improved even more from last year as well. His driver play has improved dramatically in both distance and accuracy over the course of the season. He had his best round of the year recently against Milford. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, at Eagle's Nest. That's our home course. That's also Milford's yeah. home course as yeah, well. <laughs> Always willing to do whatever the team needs. He has willingly paired up with new golfers throughout the season. Because of this, he hasn't always played in the groups his ability says he should play in, but he has accepted this role to help the team. When asked to do something, his answer is always, I understand. He is always trying to do the right thing on the course. He treats teammates, opponents, and coaches with respect and makes sure rules and protocol are adhered to at all times to the best of his ability. Declan should be congratulated for his efforts. And, uh, you know, as, as nice as this is about your skill as an athlete, um, it, what everything else says about you, I think, is even more important. So Thank you. that's awesome. Big round of applause for Declan. Declan, your certificate, your write-up, 
and go get some Chick-fil-A on us. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Those are our Athletes of the Week. Swimming and diving! Informational meeting is this Thursday, October 5th at 3.20 in room 21.52. For all students interested, the meeting will be about 30 minutes. Attention New York photographers! Your next meeting is a photo workshop and will be held during Flex Bell on Friday, October 6th in Mr. Spielman's art room. That's 2155. Please stop by room 2155 to pick up a Flex Pass sometime this week to attend the meeting and, and we hope to see you there. Yearbook t-shirt orders will be accepted until Friday, October 6th. Order forms are available in Ms. Spielman's artist classroom. That's 2155 as well. Mark, Mark your calendars. calendars! We the, the people. people! We the People is an academic club for Sycamore Junior High students which teaches history for the principles of American constitutional democracy while promoting students' understanding of the government. Student, students learn about the importance of influence of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Club so, members will compete in the 2024 Middle School We the People Showcase in Columbus. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, October 10th at 7.15 in the Junior High Cafeteria. Club sponsors are Mr. Gutermuth and Mr. Brennan. October 10th is parent-teacher conferences. October 18th is picture retake day. October 26th is already the end of first quarter. Keep studying to achieve success. That went by quick. October 27th is no school, personal learning day. Last and fan, pick up your last stuff or it'll be gone for good on October 25th when it'll be donated. Birthdays! Happy birthday to no one. Nobody signed their birthday today? Not even staff. Oh, that's, Come that's, on. that's interesting. Okay. Happy birthday. Now to Kendall and Sophia for the joke of the day. What flies around in the classroom at night? <laughs> Alf alphabets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all we have for today. And go away!